With a growing percentage of the population getting vaccinated against the coronavirus and vaccine doses becoming more readily available, there seems to be a vaccination appointment available to anyone who wants one. However, recent reports indicate that the number of people getting inoculated had dropped off and that many of those who have not yet been vaccinated are opting out. With the ongoing discussion of vaccine passports and studies showing that the majority of employers may encourage or even require their employees to get vaccinated, what happens to those who refuse to do so? Here to help examine this issue is managing partner Paul Harding from the law firm of Martin Harding Mazzotti. So, Paul, we're going to jump right into it. We've talked a little bit about this before. The vaccine passport, what is that? Vaccine passport is going to be a way to show that you've had the vaccine, right? Certain venues can say, listen, we want only vaccinated people to attend this event. It's a way to do that without pulling out medical records and violating any HIPAA laws. It's going to say, got it, don't got it. Okay, so as employers and offices reopen, what are an employer's responsibilities in terms of keeping their employees safe? Yes, what we're seeing is just the way that they're, they're, they're going to be less employees in space, maybe forever, right? Because before the rules were kind of loosey-goosey and you kind of jam people in. So we know that when people come back, it's going to be the six feet or maybe the three foot rule. Uh, you know, we're seeing where that's going to go, but it's just going to be different. And so right now, employers, they've got to provide masks and, and there's going to be safe places to go. And they got to prove that they've got enough PPE around the office. But again, and we see that people in New York City just kind of reported that there was a huge number of people coming back to work, which ultimately is good. So can employers go as far as requiring their employees to get vaccinated before returning to work? And what right does an employee have if they don't get vaccinated? Yeah, this is a touchy one. The answer is sort of yes, they can. They can say, we only want people vaccinated working at our restaurant, working at our facility, where right? they can do that. And then can they fire you if you don't get a vaccination? You know, the prevailing wisdom is yes. Now, would there be a backlash? It might be going to be employment claims. I think so. But right now it appears they can, but they got to be careful, right? There's a religious exemption still alive and well, and you're still going to have the American with Disabilities Act, the people who, who can't get the vaccine because they have other immune issues that so it's not going to be a green light for an employer to do that, but they're going to have a lot more rights than I think most of us thought they had. All right. Well, we are obviously living in a diff world, and uh, we'll see how this all plays out. If you'd like to hear this interview again, you can head to our website, c6albany.com.